Hi, I'm Sanjay Mujun. I'm a plastic surgery consultant in Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. And for this medicine in a nutshell talk, I'd have we talk about how to safely draw up and administer medication, um, intravenous medications or things like um, local anesthetic. The most important part of this is safety. And there are two aspects to safety. One is safety for the patient to ensure that the patient does not get the wrong medication if they're allergic, they might die. If you're giving the wrong medication to the wrong patient, even though they're not allergic, they may still have an adverse effect. And the second element of safety is safety for the person who's delivering it. And you're looking at not cutting themselves on glass vials or needle stick injuries. So let's first look at uh, the kit. So if we look here, we have the basic kit. We've got a, a syringe with a needle. This is a drawing up needle and it's blunt tip. So it's got not no sharp bit to it, but even so, when you finish with it, you don't resheath like I've just shown. So you undo it and you uh, put it into the sharp bit. So I'm resheathing it just for demonstration purposes here. Now, most things that you deliver intravenously will come in either a plastic um, bottle like this, and the plastic bottle tend to have a twist off cap, and a twist off like that easy and you've got a twist off cap like that. Some fluids actually uh, come in a glass bottle and if you look at the glass bottle they always have a bit of fluid above the the neck and most of it below so you've got to shake it tap it so the fluid then gets all into the the main part of the bottle. Of course since I'm demonstrating it will it'll behave badly and take a little while to do that. Now when you've got uh, most all of it in there, you can see there's a little red dot in there and that's where you put pressure and snap it open. Please be careful, you can usually cut yourself on the, um, the, the, the sharp edges of the glass vial. The reason for certain things being in glass vials is because the fluid doesn't um, do well in a plastic vial and there's a bit of denaturation of either the plastic or whatever medications in there. Sometimes you have things like this. This is a bit of uh, ad cortil, and you can see there's a bit of solid stuff inside there, solid white thing inside the fluid. And before you take it, you've got to swirl it around a bit. Make sure that you dissolve it. And swirling around like this will dissolve it before you draw it up. And again, this has a snap off um, the, the top, like the one that I showed you previously. And the third type is that you've got a bit of solid like this, is bits of uh, uh, targosid which is an antibiotic and that comes just as a powder form and that powder form um, you've got to add a bit of liquid inside it to actually get it to dissolve before you can administer it. Important before you add the liquid you've got to know what you're going to add. You can add either water for injection or saline and it's important that you add the correct thing and when you get a packet like this which has a targosid Open it if you're not familiar with it. There will always be a little leaflet. I can drag it out for you. There you go. And this one has its own um, dilutant, but the, the leaflet will actually tell you which solution used to dilute it or to um, dissolve it rather and how much. So some of them actually come with their own little dilutant and um, solution, which is fine. Uh, some you'll have to get the generic water for injection or saline. Uh, when you take the cap off, you may want to wipe the top with a, uh, an alcohol swab just to clean it. Okay, and you can then use the drawing up needle, which well, I won't put it inside because that'll waste the injection. You just put it inside there with the fluid. You shake it up or swirl it around, get it into a liquid form, make sure it's nice and liquid. And, and then you draw it up. Now when you're drawing, and let's demonstrate with this water, you can take these and turn it upside down. They won't fall out because they, there's um, an inkwell sort of effect. So have it tipped like that, put it in, make sure that the tip of your needle always stays in the fluid and not in the air bit, and you can draw it back. You can see how that draws 
right up and you drop whatever amount that you need and you can see that there's a little bit of a, an air bubble in there and sometimes people tap to get the air bubbles their multiple air bubbles coalesce into one sometimes that actually makes the air bubbles um, actually end up with more air bubbles you can see there's an air bubble here and air bubble there a neat trick is to turn it upside down give it a little swirl and then you do that and it just soaks all the air bubbles to go into there now when you finish with the needle you hold it and you this is a lure lock so i've undone it take the needle and throw it into the sharp spin you can hear that and now you've got to make sure you don't put any of that air into the patient because then they'll get an air embolus that'll go into their brain or lungs and they can die so you just gently push until that air bubble goes all the way out and there you go you can see the little bubble of fluid so you know that you've got all of it out you monitor and see how much you're going to give now you put it into a little tray in a tray you should ideally label the medication you have or just have the medication next to the syringe please do not ever have a tray with multiple syringes medications with a different patient you can mix them up and then the patient will come to harm then you go to the patient and you check their risk label i'll get a risk label for this patient here and it says Mr. Joe Bloggs, and it's got a red list, uh, uh, wrist label, which means this patient is allergic to something, and this patient is allergic to medication, um, penicillin. I've looked at the date of birth, and I've looked at the unit number, and then I get the medication chart, which should have the same patient's details, what allergies they have. Then I open it and say, ah, yep, okay, I'm going to give this medication at this time, and these things are double-checked to ensure that we're giving the right patient the right medication at the right time, at the right dose. And when you're ready to then give your medication in, if an IV medication on the ward, we have this, um, this is not a real patient, I'm sure you understand. You've got the patient here, make sure this is capped off, and this is a, a intravenous cannula, you lift that, you put that in, and you push a little bit to get in the valve and then you just gently administer. Now when that is going, make sure the patient is aware that it's going in and they should complain of pain, you may want to stop. If there's a bit of swelling here, it means the cannula has extravasated or is out of the vein and you may want to stop. And obviously tell the patient if you get any discomfort anywhere that you may need to stop as well. In case that you want to give, say, uh, like uh, lignocaine or so uh, for local anesthetic you're going to use a needle let's pretend now that this is lignocaine and we just drawn that up you're going to use a needle instead of putting it intravenously into a patient and say you're giving a, a ring block or so so needle is on safely pull it out then you have to prime the needle because there's a bit of air in that needle so you push that you can see the fluid coming out which means there is now that flu um, medication the lignocaine in this case inside and then you can go ahead and do it once you finish do not resheath the needle okay you can either undo it or ideally leave it in the syringe and then you take your trusty sharp spin and you put it into the sharp spin and this way you have safely drawn up the medication you're giving it to the right patient the right amount at the correct time ensure that they don't have any allergies while you're giving it that you're making sure that you're doing it safely and then you have also ensured that you've not given yourself a needle stick and you've made sure safety has been adhered for to for everybody concerned and that the viewer is um, drawing up me medications in a nutshell